Hey guys, it's Tamp Tech, and in this video I'm going to show you how to fix an LCD TV that has no picture. So if you turn on your TV and you have no picture and no brightness and no screen glow coming off the TV, then it can be either no power going to your backlight board, which is called an inverter board, or your inverter board is bad. So let's go ahead and plug it in. So the TV is plugged in right now. We went. Uh, we're getting, so it went from red to green, blinking, and it should be solid green light, indicating that the TV is on. You'll get the glow right here, coming from the Toshiba symbol, showing that the TV should be on, but it's not on, there's no picture, there's no glow. So I got uh, right here my phone plugged into the audio PC input uh, on the TV, and hit play. All right. So we got audio and no video. I unplug it. Okay. You can also tap it. Plug it back in. Hit play. You hear audio, just no video, no screen or no brightness whatsoever. And oh, by the way, if you don't get any audio, it can be probably because you have no AM. You have to change your input. Uh, you always use caution when plugging in a TV. You can't get shocked. So you want to plug, um, turn on your meter to DC volts, to V with a straight line. So the TV is on right now, and let's go ahead and check our standby voltage. So as you can see right here, we have our 5 volts DC standby to keep the main electric board active. Next we check our 24 volts, so we got 23.9, that's pretty damn close to 24 volts for our backlight. Here's your inverter board right here. I flip it over and I see right away, look at this burn mark. So that's a really good indicator something's not right here. Something overheated. And you flip it over and I look at these I see and look at these parts right here. They're fried. So let me go ahead and tell you the headache I went through so you don't have to go through the same freaking headache. I went ahead and replaced these three parts thinking that for sure the TV is going to work because you know they had burn marks on them and, and they were definitely bad without a doubt and this bad fuse right here was bad so I went ahead and replaced all these parts and plugged it in still fried everything so lo and behold I found all these parts in this whole entire section were bad or completely shot this whole entire board is compromised because it's just cooked all the way through. And I think it stems from this transformer. So I went ahead and it was more cost effective for me just to order another board. So you could go ahead and by all means replace 20 parts and see if it you know, fixes your TV. But remember this, if those 20 parts fry all over again, then you're going to be out all that time and money. So it might be cheaper in the long run just to get a new board that's not compromised. All right, so let's go ahead and plug it in. Just be real careful. Alright, so now let's go ahead and plug it in and see what happens. And there it is, we got an image. So, anyhow, hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up.